to the haggis, and we will toast the haggis at the end of it. <coughs> it's written by Robert Burns, Rabbi Burns, and it goes thus. Fair fire, your honest, sonsy face, great chieftain of the pudding race. Aboon them all, ye tuck your place, pinch, drape, or term. Well, are ye worthy your grace, as lungs me are. The groaning trencher, there ye fill. Your purdies, like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need. While through your pores, the dews distill like amber bees. His knife, see, rustic labour dift, and cut ye up with ready slicht, trenching your entrails, trenching your entrails, wash on a ditch, and then, oh, what a glorious sick! Warm, reeking, rich. <laughs> then horn for horn, they stretch and strive. Deal take the hindmost, on they dive, till all their will swell kites belive are bent like drums. Then all good men miss like to rive. <clears throat> the funky hums. Is there an other his French ragu? Or oleo that would store stew, or fricassee that would make her spew with perfect sconner, look down with sneering scorn for view on sick a dinner. Poor deal. See him ah, uh, his trash as feckless as a withered rash, his spittle shank, a good wit flash, his knee and knit. Through bloody flood to field to dash. Oh, how unfit that bark, the rustic haggis fed, the trembling earth resounds his tread, clap in his wally knee a blade, heel, mucket whistle, and legs and arms, and hell see like tops a thistle. He powers, what muck mankind here tear, and dish the loot with bill of fare, all oh, Scotland. Once me stinking wear that jokes in luggies. But if ye wish a grateful prayer, gee her a huggies! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>